All right, in this video, I'm working with Kilo. Kilo is a shepherd pit mix, and he's staying with us for some obedience and for some issues he has with a uh, certain type of stimuli that get him a little bit nervous or that trigger him into reactivity. So Kilo is, as you can probably see here a little bit, he's a bit on the timid side. He's starting to warm up a little bit. This took several days for him to even take some food uh, off of me. He does do better with, uh, he does do better with women from my observation, at least. But now that we've been spending a lot of time together, we are starting to connect a little bit more. So I'm doing e-collar conditioning here. The first part of the e-collar video here was stem feed, pairing it up with his name, low levels, and even right here. Now moving on to a little bit of that formal picture, but I'm still doing low level. And this is just to introduce them to what that means. So that way the owners can later uh, use it, become proficient with it as well. So as he gains proficiency, the owners will gain proficiency. This will make the those moments where leverage is important it'll make those moments a lot easier to deal with a lot smoother because with the e-collar you don't have to you don't have to grapple with your dog you don't have to wrangle them you don't have to pull them you don't have to uh, you know do any of those things that involve a physical almost like a physical personal confrontation when the dog decides, hey, this is something that I want to do for me. Uh, the e-collar makes it so that you are actually, you know, the good guy. And the e-collar is just an extension of you. And the fact that we have different levels obviously just makes it um, that much more versatile. Like in this case, I'm using low levels. And even though he's a timid dog, he's a shy dog, he's doing pretty well for that type of training because, again, we are introducing it to him.